Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise your name, Jesus. We magnify your name. We thank you. We bless you on today. We glorify you, Jesus. We honor you, God, for who you are. And we adore your name on today. I just want to welcome everyone to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries located in Mount Vernon, New York. It's a ministry empowering minds for success in the kingdom of God. I'm Apostle Dr. Faith Walters, a senior pastor. And I am so glad that you took the time out of your schedule to join in to this broadcast on today. And we pray that this uh, service will be a blessing to you. And we also pray that you will share these uh, services with your loved one and uh, pray that God will do a work in their lives as well. Again, welcome to our services. And we, uh, we just thank God for you. All those are uh, on social media, on our social media platforms. Thank you so much for joining with us. And if wherever you're listening to us today, we thank you, and we pray that God would continue to bless your life and be encouraged today. Apostle Dr. Faith Walters received the call from the Lord to begin a ministry that would empower individuals for success in the kingdom of God. Welcome to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries, located in Mount Vernon, New York, and online at wamo.org. Join Apostle Dr. Faith Walters live on Sundays at 5 p.m., and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Youth Empowerment, Worship, Prayer, Words of Encouragement, Bible Education, Fellowship, and more. It's easy to support this ministry. Simply visit our website at wamoe.org slash give. This broadcast is a production of WAMO Media Network. Thank you for joining us. Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries have one key objective to empower people for success in the Kingdom of God. Welcome to Feature Wednesday. Feature Wednesday is one of our digital media outreach programs where we showcase kingdom leaders from within the WAMO Media Network. Here is today's special feature. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'll wait on you. Listen here, people of God. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There's a great exposure coming. There is a great exposure is coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is showing more and more that people naked, huh? and he's getting ready to expose, expo I see it now, I see it now, ah, glory, hallelujah, he's getting ready to, getting ready to expose these things that are not him, see, God is, God is bringing it back into his position, glory, hallelujah, God's bringing it back to him, come on in, woman of God, God is getting it back to the place that where he want to there is a great exposure that is getting ready to hit the body of Christ like never before God is rolling the covers he showed people yeah. he, showed, he showed leaders he showed sheep he showed it naked he said I'm about to yeah. roll the covers off people get your house in order come back to God repent yeah. like never before time is running out where the son of man is about to bust these clouds wide open. Come on, Apostle. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. God is Hallelujah. good all the time. Hallelujah. Yes, that word is on point. Praise God, because there's so many things going on in our atmosphere. So many yes, things that need to change. Hallelujah. And the yes. truth needs to go forth. Hallelujah. And because of us not receiving the truth in our lives, that's why you got so much chaos in the atmosphere. And because people have been, they've been speaking to people with itching ears. 
Holy Spirit of God and not really listening and understanding what God wants them to do and what God desires to do in this time. Praise the name of Jesus. When God raises up as leaders, it's not for us to, to, to uh, connect to people uh, uh, and what they want to hear. Because for us to grow in the Lord, we have to be able to listen to some things that's going to create an ouch <laughs> in our lives. <laughs> okay. We got to say mm -hmm. ouch. Oh, my God, mm -hmm. that hurts. Okay? Because it says the truth yeah. will make us free. St. John 8, 32. We shall know the truth and the Say. truth will set us free. So imagine if so many of us had known the truth and, 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 work, and work according to what the Lord desires to do and teach people how to function, teach people how to speak positive. Just like you said, you know, uh, life and death in the power of our tongue. We speak so much negative come on, to come ourselves. Come on, come on. And because we speak so much negative to ourselves, it, 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 it sends out yes. negative vibes into the atmosphere. Holy Spirit of God, because it's all, it's what about it's about a mindset. You have to have a positive mindset in order for you to grow and expand and build. God can't work with a confused mind because God Ooh, is not the author bang it, of bang it, bang it, <laughs> bang it. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, when you share your testimony of what God has brought you through, see, when people are broken, Holy Spirit of God, and, and, and they have come to that level where God has healed and delivered their mind, hallelujah, from darkness, from pain, from suffering. They got something in them that they got to share. They can't keep it to themselves. There's a songwriter that said, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody what the Lord has done for me. Hallelujah. So I got to share it with people so people can yeah. be delivered because there is a deliverance. There is a healing yes. through our testimonies. Mm. Hallelujah. God didn't bring us this far <laughs> to leave us. And let me tell you something. When you've gone through some things, Holy Spirit of God, when you're speaking, you speak from the depth of your soul. Hallelujah. Because you know what God has done for you. And you can't go yeah. back. Hallelujah. You can't even, even if you think about it, mm -hmm. it can't even happen. Holy Spirit of God, because God has been too good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we can't turn back. Holy Spirit, even if we feel discouraged and we feel down, sometimes we got to encourage ourselves Ooh. in the Lord. Come on. Come Hallelujah. on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes ain't nobody there. Holy Spirit of God, you can't call nobody. Sometimes you call somebody, he keep going to voicemail. After the voicemail, <laughs> after the voicemail. Uh, but you open up that Bible, Holy Spirit of God, a scripture will hit you Come in on. your face. Holy Spirit of God, hallelujah. Then the, the scripture, sometimes when I read the scriptures, uh, I start to shout, uh, hallelujah. It causes a stirring in my spirit. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Holy Spirit of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you'd be surprised uh, what the word of God can do. Uh, hallelujah. So if you're feeling down, you're feeling the spirit, you feel like all hope is lost. Uh, hallelujah. Understand uh, that the word of God uh, brings power, brings life. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God is sent with spirit. Pierce the very heart of man, Holy Spirit of God. It is so strong. It's sharper than any two-inch sword. Praise the name of Jesus. So, man of God, you have shared a word that is much needed in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. And thank God you give me the opportunity to be on camera, but you I wasn't expecting it. I was just here just to encourage you because I feel when people are sharing the word of God, I need to share with them, let them know, yes, I'm with you because the truth needs to go out into the atmosphere. We got to stop sugarcoating the word and stop worrying about money. Holy Spirit of God, because if a lot of us stop worrying about money to build our churches, Holy Spirit, didn't the Bible say, Philippians 4, 19 says, he will supply the need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So why are we kind of packing up our churches, trying to get numbers to pay all the bills? If God sets you up, 
if God put you out there, he will equip you in his timing, not your timing. So if a lot of us wait on God, because what I realize you've got so many churches in our neighborhoods, but yet there's some people still dying. People still on drugs. People need deliverance. And there's tons of churches. But then what that tells him right there, everybody wants to be leaders. You know, you hit that right on the fun. nose. And I, and I love it that you say it because what we're dealing with is a bunch of Ichabod churches in, the, in these neighborhoods. This is what mm, yes. the Spirit of God had yes. left a long time ago. Mm. And we didn't bought the lie a long it, time ago in the church. Once saved, always yes, saved. So yes, we think we can right. do anything we want. This is yes. what they tell. Uh -huh. See, yes. that's the lie that we didn't bought. And I tell them, man, uh, I tell right. people you will find your right. saved behind in hell, too. That's what you will do. Yes. You keep on doing what that's you're right. doing. See, I tell yes. people this all the time. Yes. They don't yes. want to hear this. And then I tell them all the time. I said, you better understand there's some levels of sin. Yes, sin is sin. All sin matters. I said, but there is level. I said, that bottom it. level, that's the work of the flesh. That second level, that's that idolatry that's right. and that abomination on stuff right there. But that top yes. level, yes. that's blaspheming yes. against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. And I tell people, you better study the word. Right. People better get this word deep down on the inside of them because they're about to bring it. They're about to take these Bibles away. They're about to take these yes. Bibles away. You better have that word yes, on the inside uh -huh. of you. If you ain't yes. got that word yes. on the inside uh -huh. of you, you're going to settle and fall for anything yes. and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I tell people this all the time. I, I, and God had to tell me, woman of God. He had to tell me. I used to, I used to get so mad. I said, Lord, uh, nobody likes me. Nobody would care. And God said, I didn't call you to be like. He said, I didn't call you to be like, I didn't call you I to did. fit in. I didn't call you to be on everybody's platform. He said, I called you to cry loud, spare not, lift up my voice as a trumpet, tell my people of their transgression, and the house of Jacob is the church of their sin. And yes. he said, yes, they're not going to, and he said, the main ones that are going to be agitated is these leaders, because now the church is so full of seducing spirits. Woo! Yes. yes. Right. Uh, so right. he told me, don't right. even worry about it. Even if I had I had an incident that happened, I said, I'm going to chill and I ain't going to get on. He said, get back on the wall and get your joy. Your joy come from teaching and preaching the word of God. That's what I put in you. Yes. That's true. That's he true. said, that's what that's I put true. in you. So I tell right. people, there's a charge. There's a charge when 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 when, when, when Timothy, I mean when uh, 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 Paul gave it to his son Timothy. People do not. Oh glory! There is no more conviction of sin, and God about to put a stop to it. He's about to put a stop. And I'm talking about the church. I ain't talking about these out here that made up their minds. I'm talking about the church. So I, I, I appreciate you uh, definitely for coming. I know you've been hitting me since we connected. I said, well, okay, I dropped my phone number in your inbox so you can call me whenever you need me to come on. I, I, I got you. I got your back. Because I'm a team player. Yeah. I believe that I am sharpening iron. Amen. I believe that. I like so I definitely enjoyed you to come on here. I knew you. I knew. I heard one of, one of my prophets on here say she got a revelation in her belly. You need to let her release it. So I'm going to sit back. If it's there, go ahead and release that thing on here. Go ahead and do your thing. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. There are people now who are dealing with some issues in their lives. Some of you right now, you're worried about uh, uh, something happening. You're, you're afraid. God is telling you right now, don't worry about anything. Holy Spirit of God. And you're worried about the, the circumstances in life. You're yeah. looking at the size of the times. And you are believing that my end is near. Uh-uh. God is telling you Come today, on. don't you worry. Don't you fret. Don't you concern yourself what's going on in the atmosphere because you know these things are signs of the times but god yes, desires for you to look up but your redemption draw at night holy spirit god he wants you to concern yourself with matters about him hallelujah hallelujah and you, you know one of the themes for for my ministry for this year is walking that's by it, faith and not by mm -hmm. sight 
So God wants you to believe whatever you desire from him, whatever the feelings are, whatever you're dealing with right now. Yes. Give it to Jesus. Give it to him. Okay? If it's something to do with your child, give it to him. God said, people, you are worrying too much. You sit up nights and days worried about the things that he's got. Hallelujah. He said to cast your cares upon him yes. because he cared yes. for you. Hallelujah. So don't you sweat about anything. Hold on to Jesus. I know who I'm talking to do today. I just want to encourage you to not let uh, things of life or whatever things you are seeking God for, ask him. Ask him. Hallelujah. And, and, and don't stress yourself because when you stress yourself, people don't realize when you stress yourself, you bring on illness. Okay? When you worry too much, you bring on illness. When you fret too much, you bring Hallelujah. on illness. Hallelujah. God wants you to be whole in your body, your soul, and your spirit. Hallelujah. So you need to focus on the word of God. And some of y'all, as men of God was talking, a lot of y'all don't pray. Mama. Mama. A lot of y'all don't pray. And if you pray, you pray a little two-second prayer. What a two-second oh, no. prayer going to do? Sometimes you got to go deep into prayer. Sometimes you got to go on your belly before God. If you are desiring God for a specific thing, you got to go on your belly. If your children are getting in some situations, you got to go on your belly and intercede for your child. Holy Spirit of God, because so much things are going on with the children today. The children are, are in all kinds of things. Uh, and some of the mothers, they don't know what to do. Some of y'all here worried about your children mm. on this land. And I think Jesus, and I, but God, and I think Jesus it, said these yeah. things come by fasting and praying. I think he told yes. when that man yes. bought yes. his son with that lunatic spirit who was tossing himself to and fro. Yes. Oh, he said these things come yes. by fasting and prayer. And they don't yes. understand. And then I'm going to tell you something. Yes. For some personal stuff, and I'm going to give it back to you. For some personal stuff, I tell you, I've learned yes. I had to get like uh, 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 Jacob. I had to tell God, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. So I'm going to stay down here. I'm going to stay and, down here until I hear yes, from yes, you. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. That's right. So I know fuck, the Lord is speaking to me. I'm speaking to somebody today. There's a whole lot of things. And, and some of you, some of uh, us women, okay? I don't know. Some of y'all like to hold Ooh. on to your children. Ooh, my God. The Lord Let said when go. they get to age, a certain age, release them. Release them. Stop having them in your house. Stop trying to allow them to be the husband that you don't Ooh. have. Stop it. Let the Lord have them. Put them out there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid when they go out there. Pray. When they're out there, you can either pray. Effective, earnest prayer of the righteous avail it much. Mm. So if you instill in them positive uh, uh, mindset and they could go out there, they could grow and build. For, for a boy to become a man, you got to release him. Say that. Say that. You got to release him. And you can't wait till he's 30, 40 years old. You got to release him in his 20s. What If you gave him college, he went to college, then go get a job, encourage him to get a job, and you don't be cooking and cleaning for him. Mm -hmm. He got to learn to help mm -hmm. himself. And, and, and some of you women just holding on, let go and release in the name of Jesus. Lord is speaking right now. Release your children. Release them to him. He'll take care of them. Holy Spirit of God. We can't put fear in our children. Holy Spirit of God. Because you're afraid you got to see. No, they pick up on things. They pick up on things. So you you got to be able to, no matter what's going on, praise God. Give God the glory. Say hallelujah. Whatever you're going through, you feel the enemy trying to come against you. Start a shouting. Start a dancing. Start to lift up your hands and say hallelujah. Start running around your house. Holy oh, Spirit of God. And let the enemy know hallelujah. I already won. I already got the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I so remember, I remember my mother. What you work? 
I remember my mother said, boy, I'm not worrying about you no more. I done turned you over to God. Uh, I, I remember, and the moment she Amen. spoke that out of her mouth, God started Amen. whooping up on my behind. He started coming and whipping, because yeah. I didn't yeah. know that because there was a mandate on my life. I didn't know that that he had called me from the see? wounds. And, and you, you born, and see, I, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So and so let me tell you something. I tell people, man, I bang. And when I tell you I gang bang, I was out there pop pop and doing all this kind of stuff. And I watched people on the right, people on the left, God hit by bullets, got this and everything, but it missed me. Glory, yeah. hallelujah. It missed me. I watched this stuff. I used to hear my mother praying, calling out my name in the morning. I hear her praying, calling out my name in the evening time. I used to hear, and then when she got ready to cross over, I'm going to tell you something. She told my sister, she said, listen here, don't nobody do my eulogy but my son. She said, because I prayed for him to be who he is today. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. so I'm Hallelujah. very grateful for you coming on here with us on today. I'm very grateful. God bless you. And I pray, I declare and decree that this is the season where God is just going to open many kingdom doors, not church doors, kingdom doors. This is the time I hear God say, get ready to possess the promised land. I hear your Holy Spirit. He said, I'm getting ready to allow you to possess territories, regions, move forward. He said, get ready. Then here come a new bunch of sons and daughters. He said, some I got to remove because they just not going to do right because it's not in their heart. He said, but I'm giving you a new batch. Ooh, I hear your Holy Spirit. My God. See, people don't understand. In this season, he said, I'm not going to labor long with man in this season. Oh, uh, that um, people don't even understand that the reputate mind is being released right now. People don't understand that he's spewing people out of his mouth right now. People don't understand that God said, I've had enough. Oh, Jesus, glory, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. I'm going to let you, I'm, I, I pray to God that you guys enjoy this today, but watch what come on. Stop allowing some crazy stuff come out. Yeah. Leave them negatives alone. Uh, Apostle, you could pray us out and we yeah. done. We, you could pray us out. God bless it. You know, thank y'all for coming on in. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We Glory. lift up your name, Jesus. Glory. We Glory. honor your name, Jesus, Glory. on today. We thank you, Lord, for, for allowing us to see this beautiful day yes, you've Lord. given unto us, Jesus. We thank you, God, for everyone that came forth on this yes, line, Lord. on this broadcast right now. We thank you for the man of God that you led, Lord Jesus, to get up early in the morning and to speak thus said the Lord. Oh thank you, Jesus, for everyone, God, that needs a healing right now, God, yes, in yes. their body, Lord God, in their soul, God, hey, God in their God. mind. God, in their spirit, Jesus, uh, we speak a word right now, Jesus, uh, we declare and decree healing, Lord God, uh, Holy Spirit of God, Lord Jesus, there's so many minds uh, are being messed up, God, so many minds are being corroded, Jesus, because of falseness, God, yes, speaking Lord. false doctrine, Jesus, uh, but you, Lord God, I thank you uh, for raising up people, Lord God, who are not afraid to Speak out, Holy Spirit of God, and speak the unadulterated word of God, and not be ashamed and not be afraid of yes, what their society may think they're going to do to us, God. But what they don't understand, that the anointing of God is covering our lives so they can throw the dots, Holy Spirit of God. But it's not going to harm us, yes, Holy Spirit of God. And we pray right now, God, that you will anoint your man of God. And everyone, Jesus, uh, that's connected to his ministry, God, uh, and beyond, in Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, break 
things are coming forth in his life. Uh, hallelujah. He's going to mm. go further. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, and expand the kingdom of God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, uh, yes. for the service right now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, uh, that everybody, Lord God, there's something coming forth in their lives, God. All they got to do is have faith uh, and believe it's already in the, done, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, open up doors, Lord God. Open up yes, finances, Lord. Jesus. We release finances yes. on the line right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we release jobs right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Somebody is homeless right now, looking for a place to live. Lord Jesus, we release Holy homes Lord. in the name of Jesus. Shelter right now in the name of thank Jesus. You, we thank you, Lord God, yes, for Lord. victory on today, God. We thank you, Jesus, that we are triumphant on today, Jesus. No matter what's going on, Jesus, Maybe we trample on the enemy's head. Holy Spirit of God, yes, we Lord. plead the blood over everything that's in not right in the name of of Jesus. We pray you cover the children mm, right now. Yeah, in the soul. name of Jesus. Uh, protect them, God, from harm and danger. The enemy, Lord God, is trying to use uh, using people mm. to take away the innocence, God. But we bind up that spirit right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, set the captive Hallelujah. free. Uh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, uh, that we continue Lord. to proclaim the name of Jesus yes, in the Lord. atmosphere. Hallelujah. Thank we you. say thank you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen God bless amen. you. God bless everybody today. We love you all. Praise Everything Praise Apostle Praise Faith. God. Thank you. I love yes. you. Mwah! God bless you all today. All right. Okay. God bless. God bless everybody. It's oh, people of God. Yes. I will be back Tuesday night. For the webinar. So I was missing it in action, but God said, get back. So I'll see you this Tuesday night. Everybody have a blessed day. All right. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name on today and thank God for those announcements. Thank God that um, you will be blessed and you will govern yourself accordingly. Allow the Lord to move in your heart today. So we are just really grateful to God that you have joined in and we pray that you will continue to flow in the things of God. And continue to walk in the fullness of his power and we bless the name of Jesus. And we're going to be closing. Uh, we're going to be uh, closing uh, and we're going to be repeating. Let the word of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, Lord, that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. May the things that you have revealed and thoughts that we have shared dwelling our hearts and stir us to to doing more for you lord jesus thank you lord god we ask you that you continue to bless your people you continue to lead and direct their paths bless their going out and their coming in father protect them from seen and unseen dangers god let them not lack for anything in their lives jesus christ whatever they put their mind to god it will work lord jesus hallelujah Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we pronounce a blessing upon their lives, consistent flow of a blessing, God. Thank you, Jesus, that you're showing up and showing out in their lives. God, they continue to prosper in every way. And we thank you, God, that you are answering their prayers, God. You're meeting their need today, Father. Holy Spirit of God. And we bless you, God. And we will not fail to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Praise God. And as we listen to the worship, hallelujah. Know that I love you and Jesus loves you more. God bless you. Goodbye.
just means that he is larger than life and there is no other way to really express the magnanimousness of God. Lift your hands and say, God, you are awesome. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Glory. 
want to lift your hands and say, He's worthy. Even when we are not worthy, He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Continue to worship. Thank you for staying with us today. We invite you to come back again and join Apostle Faith Live on Sundays at 5 p.m. for Bible education and church services, and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Feature Wednesdays, where we share messages from other kingdom leaders from within the WAMO network. Are you a kingdom leader with a message of hope and inspiration for the children of God? Send us an email with your message to support at wamo.org or join the WAMO Media Network via our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Are you in need of prayer? Email prayer requests to support at wamo.org or join our prayer line, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. If you need help to overcome low self-worth, heal your marriage, restoration through therapy for children, teens, individuals, and couples, book an appointment for therapy with Dr. Faith at our website, wamo.org forward slash counseling. You may also access self-help resources at our website, wamo.org forward slash resources. If you would like to become a member, volunteer, or partner with WAMO Outreach Ministries, send your email to support at wamo.org. Come as you are. Why you should join this ministry. 1. To empower people for success in the Kingdom of God through Bible education. 2. To provide support services for the upliftment and development of your community. 3. To empower children and youth to increase their knowledge and earning potential by advancing their skills and professional capacity. 4. To provide solutions for families who need shelter, a place for worship, skills development, and access growth opportunities for community leaders. And 5. To provide support and a source of hope for senior citizens, ex-convicts, and people in need. It's easy to support this ministry, here is how you can help. Through tax-deductible giving, easily accessible everywhere via our website, at wamo.org forward slash give. You can give a one-time or monthly donation, or contribute funding to one of our programs. Become a member of our community or volunteer team, apply at our website, at wamo.org forward slash membership. Become a member of our network, and let us work together, to build and grow a strong, healthy community of Kingdom Advocates, empowering people for success in the Kingdom of God. Sign up at our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Other ways to join us and support the ministry. Subscribe on YouTube at WAMO Ministries, Apostle Faith Live. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at WAMO Ministries. You can also subscribe to WAMO Podcast at anchor.fm forward slash WAMO. Contact us anytime at Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries, P.O. Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York 10551. Telephone, 914-699-2482 and email support at wamo, w-a-m-o-e, dot org. Your support and generosity will positively change lives. I have the the first book, Poems About My Self-Esteem. That's uh, It's on the website. It's on there for $12. And it's help you if you have problems with low self-esteem. This book will certainly help you and touch you and make your life change. Okay, so yeah, I have one here that says, what is a smile? A smile lights up your day. It makes your face bright. It sends sunshine when there is pain. So, ah, always keep a smile even when you're having a bad day. Smile a little. It makes the world go around. So even as you are going through, yes, girl, I was... Still smiling and going on same way. All right. When I'm in pain. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a powerful uh, book. The, 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 the poetry is very uh, short and to the point. But even though they're short, they're deep. So you got to take some time to really think about them and, and just get them in your spirit. And let, let it get deep down in you and, and for you to really understand you know what it's trying to say to you all right and i have my my new book that that came out uh in july and the book is reborn 
And, and this book is, is just talking about the person's story about my journey from a place of despair, from a place of darkness, to fulfilling God's purpose in my life. This book is also transform your life as well. It would make your life different. It, 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 it shares uh, uh, some, uh, not even uh, all of it, just some uh, a synopsis of some of the things I experienced while growing up in the church and growing up in, in a family, you know, that I thought loved me and didn't realize uh, that I, I had to do it by myself, but because of God, he helped me to get through it to bring me to a place of where I am today. So I am just book is to encourage you that if you are in a place of darkness and you are, are surrounded by people who are supposed to love you and they don't show you, demonstrate that love, know that God is there for you. And take some time to pen your thoughts because you never know who's going to pick up your book one day. When you're gone from this, when it time has come, you're gone from this world. You're leaving legacies. These are things you're leaving behind for, for your loved ones to read. And you never know who will pick it up wherever they are. And we have the, the, the supernatural highway now that's everywhere, you know. So, you know, you'd be surprised where people find words that can help them. I am just uh, hoping that someone uh, purchased this CD it's, uh, it's called the Spiritual Erotic Expression of Love. Yes, uh, if this is mostly geared to couples, and this will help to inspire couples to uh, be more uh, mindful and be more appreciative of what God has given them. And it's, it's, it's a very good stimulator to build up yourself in the bedroom. Yes, it's highly sexual. Yes, so it has that mindset for you to think on uh, sex, that's what it's all about, because God ordained it for marriage. So if you are married, you should be functioning at the junction. And this CD does help to stimulate your mindset. So if you have lost your buzz or lost your fizz or whatever it is, you better get right down dirty diggy with it. <laughs> Come on now. We're not going to neglect that part of our marital bed. Well, uh, we know a part of marriage is communication. You know, you're verbally talking, but also connecting with your body is another form of communication as well. So this CD will certainly help you in that area. It will, if you have a little, little, um, little um, slow in that area or something kind of offbeat and you kind of lose it like I said before come on put that spot back in there honey and get back on that horse okay all right now I ain't joking now this is real okay God said marriage is honorable the bed is on the files so you better work it come on you got your husband got your wife work it make that bedroom spicy come on now I'll work it because let me tell you something God made marriage for a reason, and it's for us to enjoy each other. So it's important for you to spend time in that place as well. Not only, like I said before, communicating through mouth, con connecting with each other, you know, praying, doing different things, but also get jiggy in the bedroom, okay? So this CD will definitely help you in that area. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's kind of heavy, so... If you got issues and got some, you know, uh, uh, things about sex, about your body parts, well, I don't know if you can listen to this, if you can contain yourself, because this is highly sexual. I ain't playing. Okay? So, uh, get your copy today at the website. Oh, trust me, it will blow your mind. You get a little little tip of it at the, um, at the uh, website, but I want you to order it. And once the order comes through, I'll send the copy out to you. And you just ordered on the website and it the, the you know it's it's five dollars and uh you know plus you pay shipping the handle to get it to you so an order one for you know your couples you got your young people getting married thank god some of them are getting married give them a copy in there give them a copy of the cd in their um in their gift bag or you know something whatever you're doing you know throw a copy in there buy a few you know, give out to married couples to spice up their relationship. All right, so thank you. God bless.